Hi everyone. I'm full out in my Trekkie gear today. I'm wearing my royal blue tichel with gold stripes and my, my Trekkie pin as well because as most of you know that Leonard Nimoy, who played the character of Spock on Star Trek, passed away last week. And I figured this, that this is a perfect time for me to express gratitude to not only Leonard Nimoy, but to the character that he played a big part in creating and share with you a little bit about how much he affected my life. Now, it's, it's, it's wonderful um, when you think about it that Hashem or the infinite or God can come into your life through the most odd or unexpected places. So for me, there's certain books that I might have encountered, certain songs, certain TV characters that I might have encountered in my journey towards becoming an observant Jew that really had a great effect on making me really like hone in my philosophy of life. And Spock was definitely one of the greatest influences on me during that time. Now, I didn't watch Star Trek when I was a kid. I actually got into Star Trek because of my brother, who got into it in university. So I was in my 20s, very early 20s. And I just completely was so intrigued by the character of Spock. By those, For those of you that don't know, Spock's character is uh, the epitome of duality. He is half Vulcan and half human which means the Vulcan philosophy in Star Trek um, means that this, the Vulcan planet, like a Vulcan person, is completely um, driven by logic and by intellect. They do not have, I mean, they do have emotions very, very deep down, but their primary, primary driving force is the intellect and logic. Humans, on the other hand, are emotional, irrational, passionate, we, you know, in comparison to Vulcans, we're actually, we're kind of like animals. And we just go completely with our instincts and we get angry and we do irrational things. So for Spock, who is half human and half Vulcan, he's constantly dealing with this duality in his life. And much of the, the character that he develops is always kind of at war with the human side, the passionate emotional side of him, and the logical intellect side of him. And many of the decisions he makes, he makes de decisions based on his intellect and he makes decisions based on his um, human emotion. And, you know, depending on the situation, that will change. So a little bit about myself is during high school and most of my life, I was constantly, constantly plagued by the fact that I felt like life was just a paradox. That I was constantly having these two sides of myself, you know, the one side that said, you know, I'm everything, I'm an individual, the world is basically, you know, revolves around me, not in an egotistical sense, but like that everything I, that I do has an impact. And then this other part of me that would say, well, I'm insignificant, I'm just one of many, you know, I'm just one of a whole big picture and I'm really, I'm kind of nothing because I'm, I have infinite light flowing through me so there really isn't any individual there, there's just me being part of a whole. That's, that's my high school self speaking. But I felt like these parts of myself were at war. I felt like the fact that I was a physical being that had emotions and, you know, physical needs, yet I knew that Primarily, I was a spiritual being that had, you know, a loftier purpose than just being physical. I felt like those parts of myself were at war constantly as well. And I always felt like I had to choose and that those choices were really not something I wanted to do. That those choices were kind of a burden. So when I was introduced to Spock's character, you know, he at many times does feel like his choice between being a Vulcan and being a human, between his, you know, instinctual, emotional self and his logical, thoughtful self, that the, that war within himself was a burden. But often he would really make his choices and he would make beautiful, beautiful, well thought out choices as a result of that push and pull that he had within himself. So through Spock's character, I really learned that our choices are what make us who we are. That we can't control 
what we're given. What can, I can't control the family that I'm born into, the situation that's presented to me, any of those things. But I can very much control the choice that I make when encountered with that life situation. And that's really what Spock's character taught me, is that those choices that you make through that push and pull, because if we didn't have that push and pull, there would be no choice. We would just go with whatever option one was. But because of that push and pull, we have the ability in this world to make beautiful, beautiful choices. And the nice thing I really like about Spock is that it's not that logic is better or that emotion is better. It's that you need both. And that's what makes us truly, truly connected to our creator is that we need that duality. We need the push and pull in order to make good choices in this world. So I really want to express my gratitude, not only to Leonard Nimoy, but to the creators of Spock. Obviously, if, if you look anywhere on YouTube, you'll find many videos about how um, Spock was a Jewish character that um, his his isolation and even like his the symbol that he said live long and prosper and the, the hand symbol that he does is from is a Cohen symbol and you'll find all those sources but for me personally it's that choice that constant paradox that you have to live with that it's not a that's not a burden this is actually what it means to be a human being what it means to be a human being is to constantly have that push and pull, to constantly have that choice, and to choose not to see those choices as a burden, but to see those choices as a blessing, because the choices that we make in life really, truly make us who we are. So thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Spock. Thank you, Leonard Nimoy, for teaching me this. And thank you all for listening. I hope that we all have the merit and the the koach, the strength, to really value our choices and to make the best choices possible so we can bring the maximum amount of life and light and love into the world. All the best. Take care.